Hey guys, it's this Goga game, and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a YouTube outro template or picture uh, for your YouTube videos. So this is the one that I just made. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get started. So you're gonna open up your browser, look up like abstract background or something and you can choose any of these I would choose something a little like um, dark and uh, simple like just something simple so it's not distracting the viewers from the actual video that you're going that you are making so um, let's just use this one so well, we're going to create a folder here, and we'll just name it YouTube. So we're going to drag this into there, and then we're going to go to a site called pickmonkey.com. And we're going to click on this button, edit. Go to that folder that you just made. And you're going to open up your background. And if you need to, you can resize it. 900, that's good. First off, we're going to go to this uh, website called novaskin.me. You're going to go to player skin editor and you're just going to look up player name and if it'll load. Well, I already have mine pulled up, so I guess I'll just use this. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to pose and you can choose any of these poses. Okay, there we go. Um, so you can uh, put stuff in your hand or. If you want, you can edit your skin, but I'm not going to do that. But what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this. Hang on. You make you got to make sure the grid is off. You're going to go up to this uh, thing called photo. Oh, you got to you got to right click and put it onto your um, Here we go. Then we'll just go to Pick Monkey and you're on the butterfly. Click your own. There we go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just make it as big as you want. I think that's big enough, maybe a little too big, but. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, next website we are going or we're not going to really go to a website, we're just going to look up um, 3D white border. You can, you don't have to choose white, I like white because it's nice and simple. You can choose black or um, blue, I don't care, anything. But uh, I'm just going to use this one, so I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to click you add your own picture. I am sorry, my computer is lagging really bad. You're gonna drag it over here, make it a pretty reasonable size. You don't want anything to be too big or too small, so it's disproportionate, and it looks weird. Maybe a little big. All right, I think that's good. But um, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click. You put duplicate overlay, and you're just gonna bring this over here. Try to make it uh, even with the other side so it doesn't look bad. And you can move your person to the middle if you need to. Um, 
Okay, so the next website we're going to go to is a website called cooltext.com. I really like this website. Um, this is what I've been using uh, for all my texts. But they got a bunch of little different fonts and everything. Uh, you don't want to use the moving ones because that's not going to show up in a picture. It's just going to look weird. But the one I'm going to use is called plastic. And I'm just going to do subscribe for four. And you can change the color if you want. I think, or you can use the texture fill that they have. Or you can uh, just use gradient fill. But, um,. I'm just going to change the color. Since we have a blue background, uh, a light blue, I think we'll go for a dark blue. Oh, I forgot I have this clicked. Alright, there we go. So then you're going to go, oh, I can't talk. Then you're going to go down to the bottom and click create logo. And then from here you can just drag it over. Go back to Pick Monkey. Uh, go to your own. Double click. And whoa, it's not what I chose. Just drag it out to however big you need it to be. I think that looks good. And then you're gonna go back to Cool Text. Just go back to your last page so you don't lose anything. And you're gonna choose and you're gonna type like last video. And you can choose a different color if you want. Uh I'll just use or the texture fill. Yeah, it looks cool. Well, create logo, drag it over. Go to your pick monkey, click your own, add it in, put it right under one of your white boxes or whatever bo color box you want. And then you're going to go back to pull text, go back to your recent page, and you can just type like random or something. You don't want to type like uh, a bunch of words because then again they'll be disproportionate and it'll just look bad. So drag it over to your folder, add your own, have to make it a little smaller so it's the same size. The next thing we're going to do is go back to Google Images and um, you're just gonna look up uh, any social media that your channel has like um, I have Instagram so I'm gonna look up Instagram transparent background and the only way you know it's transparent is if it has uh, those little white and gray boxes in the background and when you drag it there's not like a white box around the picture so put that in your folder go ahead and add it in and you can add this wherever you want I'll just stick it in this corner here you can I'm gonna make it a little smaller but um if your channel had Facebook or Twitter, um, you can use one of those. See, this isn't a transparent background because it doesn't have the boxes. So you'll have to um, find one that does. But um, you guys get the gist of it. You can add any little social media pic in there with a transparent background. But, um,. After you get done, you're going to come up here and press save. 
it's gonna take you to this page and you're gonna name it I'm just gonna say um, outro and make sure it's JPEG and you can change the size if you want I'm just gonna keep it to that because I don't feel like changing it and you're just gonna click save to my computer and voila your masterpiece is saved you can um, open it up and look at it and there it is okay so what you do from here is um, whenever you're going to add this in here out uh, after your video you're gonna go um, back into pick monkey and um, you're gonna add your own and you're just gonna use um, maybe like your out uh, your thumbnail from your last video okay here it is and um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open that and you're gonna uh, bring it over here to your last video box and you're just gonna um, sorry about that that was my phone um, you're just gonna add it in here to where it fits uh, your outline that you got. Try to make it kind of perfect. I want to apologize for my mouse. Uh, you can hear it clicking and moving. I'm gonna try to work on that. Um, getting a better mouse. And, uh, and also my voice. I'm gonna try to get a better mic. But yeah, once you get this um, as good as you want it, or to where it fits, uh, so you just use that thumbnail in that uh, little outline you put in there. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, the more perfect it is, the better it looks. And you can just use a thumbnail uh, from one of your last videos in this. Since this is a new computer, I don't have a thumbnail from one of my last videos. But, um... So yeah, you'll just uh, add this into whatever video editor uh, you have after the video that you just made. And you can add in some music or you can just voice it over. But um, yeah, so um, once you are uploading it to YouTube, you're going to um, uh, add an annotation over the um, thumbnail box and you can uh you'll just link that to your last video and you can um add an annotation over your subscribe for more and you can just link that to uh your channel or your subscribe and then also you'll um put an annotation over your random thumbnail video and uh that'll just link you to whatever video that is and you can also Put an annotation over your social medias and uh, link it to whatever website that goes to. But, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make these uh, outros, templates, things. But, uh, yeah, just find some cool music, add it to it, and add it to your video, and you'll be good. Um, see you guys later. Hippo, but that girl got